Hello everybody, this is Rosie Lentz from Narcissistic Abuse and Recovery. I wanted to talk to you today about how the narcissist has everyday strategies for wearing down your self-esteem. With my head just sitting here in the parking lot, doing a parking lot uh, broadcast. There we go. My pretty little narcissist, um, I was, I was, I'm a very active in keeping my house clean. I find it very therapeutic and uh, to be able to clean my house, to go through. And as you can see behind me, it's snowing. It's so pretty right now. Um, but they would follow me around and tell me that what I did was worthless that if they were doing the cleaning, that their home would be the way that they wanted it to be. And go around and pick, 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 until I just would say, I'm done. If you can't say anything nice, just leave me alone. Fine, I won't say anything. And then you hear off in wherever they're doing, huh. <laughs> yeah right uh, like they're talking uh, like they're talking to themselves and I'd hear that and they're baiting me they were trying to bait me this is what the narcissist does though they will go around and pick 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 until you may be so worn down that you either have a really emotional reaction of like blowing up at them and they go wow you've got a temper because that's what the, that's exactly what they wanted all the way along. It's this whole bait and switch. These little pick, 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 where they're where they are dissecting and destroying any value that you have, and anything that you do is diminished, belittled, and even so highly criticized that you don't you don't want to do anything around them. That's what a narcissist does. They destroy you on micro levels. They destroy you, your feelings, your reputation, your feelings of yourself and your value on micro, microscopic levels. It's not just about the macro. It's the daily breaking down and criticizing before you have a chance to amass any good feelings. They're coming along and pick, 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 pick. And the way you feel about yourself Eventually, you feel like I, you're monitoring what you do when they're around. And when they're not around, you get the things done that you can get done. This can be true for a boss, for a romantic partner, for a mother, for a father, for a teacher, what have you. But when you have this, this nitpicking, like this drilling into you for everything you do and nothing you do is right and everything they do is right and their your ideal and what you're doing does not contribute to what their ideal is. This is, this is malignant and overt narcissism and it's terrible because it can tear you down. I'm going to tell you now, don't buy into what they're selling. And remember, this is an 18 plus show and if... And if you don't like what you're seeing, time to move on to another channel. But I'm going to share this with you because I think it's important. This happens more to, well, it happens to men too, but it happens with a lot of women because we're told to be the nurturers, to be kind and loving and patient. Well, the guys are, well, at least in my generation, um, boys could be adventurous, girls had to be safe. And narcissists took this to heart. And don't ever, ever, ever make a promise to a narcissist unless you really plan on keeping it and make sure that you documented that you've kept the promise where they've acknowledged it. I, I, used, to, I used to do it with my pretty little narcissist in email. My friends, narcissism is a pandemic issue and with so many different uh, sets and subsets of narcissism, we have to know exactly who we're dealing with. If you feel like you need help and you cannot do, and you really are ready to recover from narcissistic abuse, 
please reach out to me and I will sit, I will refer a therapist to you in your area or a support group that can be helpful to you and follow through and do what you're called to do. I also do sessions in re recuperation from narcissistic abuse. We put together a plan, we enact it, and I'm here for support. My information is in the section below. Don't accept the bait and switch. Ignore them no matter what they say. Do not respond. If they send you a text, and the text in a text message or email or, or, or phone message, just seeing who, I just heard a car door. Ignore them. Ignore them. Don't even gray rock. Just ignore them. Because nothing good will come of it, come from this for you, for your best in high school. They're not thinking about you. Nothing you would do would be good enough. And everything they would be, everything they would do would be perfect until they move the bar again. Narcissists are always moving the bar. That's where the nitpicking and the bait and switch and this really malevolent and cruel behavior comes from. And they learned it from someone. They were either treated that way or they were permitted to be a bully when they were growing up. My friends, take your life back in your hands. You've got this. I love you. I believe in you. Thank you for watching all the way through. This is Rosie Lentz. This is my short for the day. Don't let them wear you down one criticism at a time. Ignore it. Ignore it and instead think of, think of five things that you really do well, that you know you do well, that you love about yourself. I love you. I believe in you. I'll see you soon. This was my short for today. Mwah! From me to you.